Hi, I'm Jeff with Fred Anderson Toyota, and this is Ali, our master diagnostic technician. And as we say, this is Ask the Expert. Let's see what you got, Ali. Holy Hales One asked us on our YouTube channel, do hybrid vehicles, we're talking about plug-ins specifically, lose their electric driving range in the winter as far as battery charge goes? If so, what temperature range starts to affect it? And then is the life of the brake pads and rotors lengthened with regenerative braking? If so, how long can you expect? A lot of questions. Let's start with the easy one first. Yeah. Uh, brake pads mm -hmm. with regenerative braking, some of the energy in the car from kinetic is turned into electricity and is stored in the battery. And yes, it increases the battery's performance and it decreases the wear on the brake pads because the brake pads are not used as often to slow the vehicle down. Okay. On a normal car with a gasoline engine, we do brake jobs maybe about 60,000 miles. On uh, hybrid vehicles, they last much longer, closer to 100,000 miles. Really? For the winner question, first of all, there's no wall you hit in season that your gas mileage changes. It goes linear. As weather gets colder and colder, the gas mileage will drop. One of the things that drops gas mileage is the formula for the gas for winter is different that has less energy in it. So the gas that you have in the tank will take you f f uh, less of a distance than it normally does. Also cold, cold air is more dense. So the aerodynamic of the vehicle changes. So as you travel at any speed and usually the higher speed you travel, the more aerodynamic effects your gas mileage. Hmm. So let's say you drive high with speed all the time and you're always under a huge amount of aerodynamic resistance to your vehicle moving. In the winter, you will really notice that your gas mileage will drop. Uh, you also use warm up on the vehicles that are gasoline, even hybrids. You warm them up for a certain amount of time before you get on the road. You're using more time to warm the vehicle up and that's vehicles not going anywhere. And uh, let's see if there is any other thing. What about the, uh, if you're driving a, a plug-in on an electric range because the air is denser, you're still having to work harder to get through that or cut through that. So that would cut down on your electric driving range potentially too, right? Yes, I'm happy you asked about just the electric because the battery life, the battery when it uh, works, it works le uh, harder to provide power and receive power from the charging systems. The colder it is, the more battery works and uh, it goes for any car. However, if when you have all the batteries in a car, 12 volt battery to the 300 volt batteries, they work harder to be charged and harder to move the car. So yes, the cold weather absolutely affects electrical, electrical vehicles more than it does gasoline engines. Okay, that's really good advice. Thank you so much. And if anyone has a question about repair or maintenance for Ali, just leave a comment or send us an email and we'll do our best to get it in a future video. Ali, thanks for your time and say goodbye to the world. Goodbye to the world.